Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am creating this really, really easy, super easy and quite a natural golden kind of goddess, golden glow makeup look. It's very minimal, very easy and I'm loving that at the moment. I asked you guys on Instagram if you prefer like full coverage, full beat or you like natural makeup. And I'm kind of like transitioning into really liking natural makeup. I mean, I'm not gonna stop doing full beat either, but I'm really, really loving more natural or like lightweight looks and products on my skin. I wanted to create something that is just really easy to do, but also doesn't feel super, super heavy on your skin, doesn't look super heavy on your skin, but still looks really nice and flawless. So yeah, that's what I've done today. If you wanna know how I got this look, then please keep on watching. But before I let you go, make sure to hit the like button if you do enjoy these types of videos. Don't forget to comment down below, let me know what you think, and also hit the subscribe button, please. Join the family. We're nearly at 200K subscribers on YouTube, so I'd really, really love it if you join the family. I'll let you go and watch the tutorial. <laughs> okay, let's get started. I'm going to take my By Terry Brightening CC Serum in the shade Sunny Flash. This is just gorgeous. I'm just gonna take a couple of pumps of this on my face and then just blend it out with my hands. This is just gonna give you a really nice kind of glow to your skin. And this one is just slightly deeper than my actual skin tone. So it kind of gives me a bit of a tan glow, but without being excessively tanned, if that makes sense. It's just really pretty. Guys, if you can hear like drilling or screwing or whatever, it's the neighbors. I really, why? Like, why, why, why? He really is going for it, isn't he? Okay, so I, I went to go and have a look and I can't do anything about this really noisy drilling sound. Uh, why? I'm really, really sorry about that, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my Kevin Aquan, 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 Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer. This product is really, really full coverage and it's quite thick so we are doing natural makeup however we want to still cover up discoloration and make it look natural so i'm just going to still take it around my mouth but really lightly kind of just press it in and then flick and blend it out so i'm just kind of placing it where i need to cover up that area and then i'll just lightly flick and blend so that way it doesn't look really like heavy sitting in one area of your skin and like i've got scarring here on my nose so i still need to kind of cover that up and i'm just gonna get rid of any discoloration so just like when you're doing a natural look you can totally use a full coverage product but it's how you use it and obviously you wouldn't be going in with as much. Um, just be really, really careful to use a smaller amount. And you'll, you'll notice that when you actually use a smaller amount of a full coverage product, you'll see that you don't actually need that much in the first place. Just embrace your, your skin a bit more. Now for foundation, this isn't really a foundation, it's more of a skin tint. And I'm using the Glossier Skin Tint in the shade G6. You just wanna give this a good shake first. And this honestly, it is literally just a skin tint and it's really, really lightweight. So I'm just gonna get this on a little bit around my face. And then with my foundation brush, I'll kind of just pat that into the skin all around, but it's literally so light that it's kind of, it's just like your skin, but better. Yeah, I want a little bit of coverage out of it, which is why I'm patting and it would just disappear a lot quicker if I was to buff. Now you can use foundation if you want or whatever. You can use a tinted moisturizer, but this is kind of just as much as I want right now. Like I literally just want this natural base, that's it. So next I'm gonna take this Fenty Cream Bronzer in the shade Honey Glaze, and I'm just gonna pat this just onto my cheeks where I would normally bronze. I'm loving using creams at the moment. They just look so like natural on the skin. And I'm just, I'm really, really loving just lighter makeup, but it still looks pretty you know I, f I still feel like I'm put together but just a bit more natural and do you know what's also really good is that it takes me a little less time there is an art I think to perfecting natural makeup because it is so easy to just go in and go like full coverage and keep adding more so you kind of need to know when to stop and you kind of need to get the blend right so I'm gonna make sure I take this cream bronzer into my hairline in on my temples because that is where the sun would naturally hit me. 
who's actually tried these cream bronzers yet. I believe I've done a full review, but I think I have anyway. And then I'm just gonna pick up a little bit and take any excess kind of just on my nose. And I'm not being really, really precise with like a nose contour. I'm just kind of just taking it up the sides a little bit rough and on the end. Because if you were to naturally have a tan, it couldn't, it wouldn't like be really sharp and structured. So then I'm going to go in with some concealer. I'm just taking the Fenty Beauty concealer and I'm just gonna take it underneath my eyes. And then I'll just take a little bit down my nose. Oh, in a straight line. And I mean, this is optional. You don't have to put it here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. The best thing is that it kind of just doesn't need to be like perfect. It doesn't have to have so much structure when you're like highlighting around the face. And that's kind of the beauty of doing like a natural makeup. It's kind of like perfect, but imperfect. So I'm just stippling this out. And then I'm just gonna set that with some translucent powder and I'm taking the Chanel one, but I'm just gonna go right under my eyes. I'm not gonna take it really low down. I'm just gonna set right under here so that the concealer doesn't crease because this is where I tend to get a lot of creasing. So I'll just make sure that's set in place. And I can just take some down here. Basically where I'm gonna get really shiny, that's kind of just where I wanna set. Now time for blush. I'm gonna go in with this Fenty Beauty Cream Blusher and this is in the shade Rose Latte, which I love so much. So I'm just gonna pop a little smile and just pat on the cheeks. And this is such a nice natural shade. Like it looks so deep and dark in the pan, but when it goes on, it's like, it's beautiful. So then I'm gonna take this new Estee Lauder cooling highlighter. Like guys, how gorgeous is this? This is in the shade two and I'm just gonna, oh, it feels so, it actually feels so cooling on the skin. So I'm just gonna take a bit of this onto the top of my cheekbones and then just with my finger, pat it in. Okay, I love this product, so nice. And you can even just take some on your finger like this. Okay, so now that all of the cream products are on, we're gonna go in with just a couple powders. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Give Me Sun, which is just a normal bronzer. And I mean, you can totally leave it here, but just to enhance that golden glow a little bit more, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this just over where we've already bronzed, just really, like honestly, a really small amount. And this will help just set those cream areas, but still kind of like enhance them at the same time. And then I'm gonna go in with some highlight, which I'm the most excited to use. And this is the new Estee Lauder Heat Wave Highlighter from their Bronze Goddess collection. It's literally so dreamy. This highlighter or this Bronze Goddess collection just gives me so many good memories of last year being on uh, a press trip with Estee Lauder for this collection. And it's literally like, it was, it was just so incredible. I couldn't even believe that I was even picked to go on this trip. And what was even more amazing, it was actually one of the most diverse trips I'd ever seen. I think there were only two white girls on the trip and everybody else was of color. So it was really, really amazing to see and I felt really like included, you know? Let's just go in with this highlighter. And I'm just gonna take this right over the cream highlight. Yeah, see, honestly, these highlighters, I love them. Every single year I love them just because they are so buttery and really like, they, ju they just sit nicely on the skin. So even when you're doing a natural makeup, they just like melt into the skin. But if you were doing a full coverage makeup and you really wanted that bam, like pop of highlight, you could totally do that with these Bronze Goddess ones. Don't these just remind you of like, you know, sand dunes when you're in a desert or something. This is what this palette is kind of reminding me of. And boy, do I wish I was <laughs> on a desert somewhere. I'm just gonna take a little bit just in the center of my head, just to give me a bit more glow. And this isn't something I always do, but I feel like I just wanna do it today. But I'm just gonna take some down my nose. And I like doing this on days where I haven't done a strong nose contour because this still makes your nose look more defined if you just highlight it. And then you don't have to go in with, you know, a harsh contour. This kind of just is like a reverse contour, if that makes sense. And then I'll just set the blush with a little bit of MAC Melba. Honestly, again, a really tiny amount just to go over the cheeks. And it just literally just sets it, but then enhances that shade underneath. 
just because I feel like when you're doing natural makeup, for me anyway, I still want my natural makeup to last all day. I don't want it to get halfway through the day and it's sliding off my face or I just still don't look put together. And I think that's the hard thing with doing natural makeup and, and probably the reason why I had avoided it so much because I like my makeup to just be on. I wanna look good the whole day. But now I found that I can use my cream products and then a little bit of powder products just over it, just to set. And I just don't, basically don't do anything in excess. That's it. Cause like, I feel like my skin and base is really, really light and flawless. I'm loving it so far. Moving on to the eyes, really, really easy. Like honestly, the easiest thing ever. We're gonna go in with this by Terry Ombre Black Star eyeshadow pen. And this is, I believe this is in the shade 22, but it's just a beautiful bronze shade. So I'm just gonna take this across my lid. Oh, if this isn't golden glow, I don't know what it is. These are just like the easiest things to use ever. And then you're just gonna blend the edge. So it just kind of softens. You don't want it to be like one harsh, like semicircle line. And that's, that's, that's really basically it. I mean, you could even just use your finger and just smudge around here. And that's another thing, like it doesn't have to take you 50 years to do your makeup if you're doing natural makeup. Because before it used to take me still just so long to do natural makeup. But if you find products that just work easily, that don't need a lot of work, then you can make this work. I'm just gonna take my finger, kind of just smudge and blend it out. It just softens up that line. Kind of just take it above the crease a little bit. Voila. And I might even take, just to be extra, cause it's so easy, just around my eye. And then just kind of blend it out. And then I'm just gonna take some brown eyeliner. You don't have to do this, but I just want a little bit of depth along my lash line. I'm really loving like no big liner at the moment and just mascara. I feel like lockdowns just turned me into a new person. And brown always looks soft. Like it always, always looks softer. And you can even just, see this is what I mean about getting carried away. Like I'll just end up doing more and more unless I'm really doing like a no makeup makeup. Okay, that's really enough now, aren't you? Seriously, this is not what I had in mind, but here we are. Okay, 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 that's not looking very natural anymore. Let's just bring it back. That's enough, that is enough. And then for mascara, I'm gonna go in with this Marc Jacobs mascara. It's a new one by Marc Jacobs, and oh my God, it is so nice. Also, how bougie and just, I love this packaging. The packaging is beautiful. You can never go wrong with a bit of black and gold. If you can tell by my background. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take some of this on my lashes. And I love this mascara because it actually gives your lashes like definition and length. Curls them slightly also, but it's like, you can build up the drama on this mascara to however you want, which is why I like it. It's not like instant full on. So on a more kind of natural day, shall we say, or like lighter makeup, this is nice. So that is just one coat and you can see it's done enough in just one coat, which is why I really like it. Okay, so that's one coat on both my lashes done. And I feel like that's enough. I'll just maybe take a teeny weeny bit more onto the tops of my lashes, but that's basically it. And then as for the bottom lashes, when I'm doing a bit more of a natural day, I won't really do bottom lashes, but where I've got eye makeup on, I'll do like a teeny, teeny bit on the bottom lashes. Again, I don't wanna build this up like a crazy amount. I kind of just want my bottom lashes to be somewhat visible, but I don't want them to be heavily coated in mascara. Okay, they kind of ended up getting heavily coated in mascara. Whoops. Then for the brows, I'm just gonna really lightly go in with a little bit of this gimme brow and just brush through my hairs and I'm not looking for anything perfect. I'm just doing this just to give it a little bit of color but nothing crazy defined or structured. I mean, that's kind of basically it. I'm gonna take a bit of this highlight just in here, just because it wouldn't be kind of like a golden glowy makeup if you didn't have inner corner highlight. <laughs> and then for the lips, I'm going in with this Fenty Beauty Slip Shine Lipstick. These are new and this is the shade Glazed. 
it's kind of like a lip gloss but a lipstick it's just like gives you just like just enough on your lips mm, i like this shade this is like your lips but better mm. and i've not done any sort of lip liner or anything just because i don't want anything too harsh again i just want to keep it how it is and then just to kind of tie everything in together just to make sure the powders kind of mesh well into the creams and make your makeup just looks more natural and more lived in in your skin i'm gonna go in with a setting spray this is the anastasia beverly hills dewy set and they've come out in new little scented ones so this is the pineapple one i'm so excited to use it oh that is so lovely Okay, and then finally, guys, just to give myself an extra bit of golden glow, I'm going to do something that I've never done <laughs> on YouTube anyway. But I'm going to try this. Um, like it's like a tan product. So I'm just going to spray this by Terry Tea to Tan Face and Body Hydro Bronze Shaker Spray on for that extra golden glow. Ooh, this is really nice. First of all, it smells nice. And second of all, this is just... A really nice product and I guess you can just build it up also it says that this product doesn't transfer either which is great it just looks really natural on my skin I'm just gonna get a little bit just on my shoulders okay I'm actually obsessed I'm gonna go in with the cooling highlight by Estee Lauder in the shade 3 and just get this over like the high points I love how easy this is to use because you could just use it on the face and body. Okay, guys, I mean, <laughs> who is she? Who is she, Golden Glow Honey? Like, honestly, have I been on holiday? Have I not? You wouldn't know. Yeah, wow. So guys, this right here is the finished look. I really hope you like it. I'm gonna try and do more kind of softer, more natural kind of makeup looks. I, I mean, I'm still gonna do glam, but I feel like when it comes to the skin, I'm really enjoying wearing a lot less, but still making it look flawless. And just not going in with like heavy amounts of product. Because as you can see, there has not been a full coverage, I mean, other than Kevin and Kwan, but my foundation hasn't been heavy, like nothing has been heavy. And I feel like I still look flawless and this is just like, I'd be happy. And I'm happy to go out like this. So yeah, let me know how you guys feel about that. Let me know what you wanna see. And I really hoped you enjoyed this makeup look. If you did, give it a thumbs up, comment down below. Let me know what your favorite products are for kind of like a natural makeup or like a gold summer goddess look do you know what i mean and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you next time Mwah. bye